Good morning, Aurora Day Campers. Today I have a really, really fun activity for you guys. I'm gonna show you how to make tie-dye socks. So the first two things that you're gonna need are your socks and some rubber bands. So I have two rubber bands per sock. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our socks and kind of pinch it right here at the end and start rolling it up, rolling it around that little, that little pinch. Alrighty. And so now, once we've done this, once we've rolled our sock up, we're gonna take our first rubber band and we're gonna put the rubber band right around our sock. There we go. And so then we're gonna take our second rubber band and go the opposite way. Oops. Just like that. So it should look like this when you're done. And you should do this for both of your socks. And then we'll move on to the next step. So, I just rolled up both of my socks and the next step is to get them both a little bit wet. So I'm gonna do it in the sink and then once I'm done getting them wet, I'm gonna squish out the water so they're just a little bit damp. And then we'll be able to move on to tie dyeing our socks. Okay guys, so now that my socks are ready, I'm gonna make sure that I have a clean surface where I can, you know, do a little bit of messy work. All right, I've got a little trash bag that I put out. And now, once you pick your colors, you can bring them over, and all you gotta do is just kinda squirt them around, you know, just like that. You know, and you can make different little designs, or you can do different designs on each, on each sock. But you wanna make sure that you kinda just get all over it. guys should tell me what your favorite designs are for your for your tie dyeing and and what your favorite colors are my favorite color is it's green but I think that blue tie dye on my socks would look really really neat alrighty I hope you guys are having a lot of fun because I'm having so much fun doing this I'm just gonna flip mine over to make sure I got every side seeing, you know, sometimes it doesn't always go all the way through, so you wanna do it on the other side as well. All right, what am I gonna use next? How about, about navy blue? There we go. Right down the middle. So once I'm done with this step, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let them dry overnight or just for a few hours and then I'm gonna put them in the washing machine and then the dryer but you got to make sure that you do them by themselves so that you don't mess up the colors on other on your other clothes alrighty so I'll, I'll see you guys after that and I'll show you what my awesome tie-dye socks look like so there's one quick thing that I forgot to mention so after I let my socks dry what I want to do then is take them back under the sink and squeeze out a little bit of the water after I get them wet. And then you can put them in the washing machine and the dryer. And after that, they should be done. Already Aurora Day Campers. So I just took my socks out of the dryer, my tie-dye socks, and I think they look really, really neat. And I'm sure that your socks are gonna look awesome as well. So I hope you guys had a really, really fun time making these tie-dye socks and I'll see you guys later.